types of chemical reactions. I will teach you six types of chemical reactions with daily life examples. The first type is combination reaction or addition reaction. In combination reaction, two or more substances combine together to form a single product. Like A plus B combine together to form AB product. For example, carbon plus oxygen gas would combine together to form carbon dioxide gas. Secondly, ethene plus bromine gas would combine together to form ethene bromide. Thirdly, sodium plus chlorine gas would combine together to form sodium chloride. So two different substances combine together to form a single product. These types of reactions are called combination reactions or addition reactions. The daily life example of combination reaction is photosynthesis. We know that photosynthesis is a chemical reaction through which plants prepare their own food. For instance, carbon dioxide gas plus water would combine together to form glucose. So remember that Photosynthesis is a combination reaction. Secondly, decomposition reaction. In this type of reaction, a chemical compound breaks down into simpler substances. Like AB would break down to A plus B. For example, consider water. When we pass electric current through the water in electrolysis, it is broken down to hydrogen gas plus oxygen gas. Secondly, hydrogen peroxide decomposes to water plus oxygen gas. Thirdly, consider silver bromide. We know that silver bromide is a light sensitive compound. When light falls on silver bromide, it decomposes to silver plus bromine gas. Remember that these type of reaction can occur spontaneously or they can be initiated by the heat. The daily life example of decomposition reaction is when carbonic acid breaks down to produce water and carbon dioxide gas. Thus remember that the breaking down of carbonic acid is a decomposition reaction. Thirdly, displacement reaction. When an element or ion moves out of one compound and to another, this type of reaction is called displacement reaction. Consider AB plus C. Here B is replaced by the C. For example, sodium plus water would react together to form sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. Here, sodium displaces the hydrogen ion. Secondly, zinc plus HCl would react together to form zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas. Thirdly, Chlorine gas plus calcium iodide would react together to form calcium chloride plus iodine. Remember that these type of reactions only occur when the element moving to the compound is more reactive. For example, zinc is more reactive than hydrogen, so zinc is replacing hydrogen. That's why we call it displacement reaction. Now coming to the daily life example. The table salt we use in our daily life can be prepared by the displacement reaction. For example, calcium chloride plus sodium would react together to form sodium chloride plus calcium. Here, sodium is more reactive, calcium is less reactive. So sodium is replacing the calcium. Fourthly, combustion reaction. When oxygen react with other compounds to produce light and energy, this type of reaction is called combustion reaction. Remember that all combustion reactions are exothermic reactions. There are two types of combustion reactions, complete combustion and incomplete combustion. In complete combustion, plentiful supply of oxygen gas is provided. For example, Methane plus oxygen gas react together to form water plus carbon dioxide gas. While in incomplete combustion, limited supply of oxygen gas is provided. For example, in incomplete combustion, 
methane plus oxygen gas would react together to form carbon monoxide gas plus water plus carbon. In our daily life, the car engine is run by the combustion. For example, the burning of petrol is an example of combustion reaction. Thus remember that burning of petrol in the car engine is combustion reaction. Fifthly, redox reaction. Redox reaction involves a transfer of electrons between two species. Consider this example. Here, A lose electron to form positive ion, B gains electron to form negative ion. So we say that A is oxidized and B is reduced. For example, when magnesium plus oxygen gas react together, it forms magnesium oxide. Here, magnesium is losing two electron, so it is oxidized. On the other hand, oxygen is gaining two electron, so it is reduced. So oxidation and reduction takes place in this reaction. That's why we call it redox chemical reaction. In our daily life, the rusting of iron is good example of redox chemical reaction. Finally, neutralization reaction. Remember that neutralization reaction is also known as double displacement reaction or precipitation reaction. A neutralization reaction, when acid and base react together, they form salt plus water. For example, HCl plus sodium hydroxide react together to form sodium chloride plus water. Here, HCl is an acid, sodium hydroxide is a base, and sodium chloride is a salt. Secondly, HNO3 plus potassium hydroxide react together to form potassium nitrate plus water. Now coming to the daily life examples. The toothpaste we use in our daily life is base and nature. There are bacteria in our mouth which produce different acids. When we brush our teeth with the toothpaste, the base and the toothpaste neutralizes the acids produced by the bacteria in our mouth. Secondly, due to overeating, our stomach produces more acid which causes several problems. To neutralize the acid in our stomach, we use magnesium hydroxide which is base in nature that reduces acid in our stomach. I hope that you have learned all about the different types of chemical reactions.